Busy day for Carl LeBrook. Every day is eventful when you're a veteran Rebels bikie. But this was a hell of a start to the week, even by Carl's standards. Appears in court on charges of possessing 200 grand in dirty cash. What happens next? Gets found guilty. And then? Expects at least 12 months behind bars. I need this day to end. Gets sentencing suspended so he can go to hospital to witness the birth of his child. And in amongst all that, quietly tells the world that he's switching bikey clubs. Didn't see that coming. After 25 years as one of the most senior rebels in the country, Carla Brooks becoming a comanchero. <gasps> what? No. Bro, what? Holy shit. Oh. Serious? Serious as a bikey war. Have a look at the colours he's wearing to court. Black and gold. It's not because he's a Richmond supporter or an ambassador for discount groceries. He's wearing the black suit and gold tie to signal to the world, the underworld at least, that he's going to be wearing a new patch. Is that going to cause dramas? I think it depends on how many rebels go with him. I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! Carl was the most senior of more than 30 Rebs who handed in their colours en masse a few weeks ago. They resigned in frustration at what they saw as a lack of support from the Sydney bosses during the club's recent tit-for-tat skirmishes with the Mongols. The gang crime squad's been wondering what those now unaffiliated bikies would do. We had a theory. It was a good one. They're going to patch to another club, I presume. What else would three dozen bored bikies do? All right, take up a sport. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What? Oh! Oh! Unfortunately for everyone, Carl and his mates aren't studying a professional dodgeball competition. Now here come the Globo Gym Purple Cobras. At least half a dozen are signing on as commos. That's according to Uplate's penetrating forensic investigation of the criminal underworld. It's not going to be a mass patch over. Comanchero are going to be picky with who they accept. Next! They won't be taking anyone who's in jail, and don't be surprised if the guys they do take are forced to do a year as a nom. Do it full time! Get on there! Which will put a few prospective recruits off. It's a bit like making a qualified chef retake his apprenticeship because he's joined a new restaurant. You're pulling my plonker now, aren't you? A lot of bikies are good cooks. Look at you. Either way, it's going to be a lot of overtime for the gang crime squad because the Comanchero are into some deep criminal shit. When this mob go to war, it isn't like the rinky-dink drive-by shooting that saw a bunch of rebels thrown in jail. When the Comanchero tool up, you can expect blood and fire. Why did Carl choose them? A few senior rebels he knows well patched over to the commos a while ago. I guess he feels welcome there. Or will be when he gets out of jail. The judge on Monday didn't believe his story that the 200 large cops found him with was legitimate club money that he was protecting. If Carl's lucky, he might be out in time for his new child's first birthday. His co-accused, that's Carl's co-accused, not the kids, got 12 months for her role in the dirty money crime. It's not the first time LeBrook's been in trouble with the law after being pulled over with a large amount of folding. Last year, he was charged with possessing 30 grand in unlawfully obtained cash. In that instance, he said it was because no bank would let him open an account. Computer says no. And he had nowhere to put the money, which was takings from a since closed down Mount Hawthorne restaurant that he part owned. Imagine life in that kitchen. Your shit. You dirty pig! Even Gordon Ramsay didn't firebomb the sous chef's car because some undercooked chook made the customers sick. <laughs> I'm Ben Harvey.